Ivelace Hernandez, an ordinary woman from Tampa, Florida, possessed an extraordinary heart. Accompanied by her boyfriend, Rico Bankston, she embarked on a routine trip to the airport, patiently navigating through the security process. Initially, everything seemed typical, but a disturbance at the front of the line disrupted the flow. As Ivelace inched closer to the source of the commotion, she discerned the cause, an airport security request for a fellow traveler to discard a packet before boarding. It was evident that whatever lay within the packet held immense significance to the stranger. Aware of the heightened security measures minus nine elements, the passenger acquiesced but pleaded with TSA to transfer the packet to lost and found instead of outright disposal. Unfortunately, TSA's regulations offered no leeway, compelling passengers to relinquish their belongings or forego boarding entirely. Intrigued by the unfolding scene, Ivelisse's curiosity peaked, despite the uncertainty surrounding the packet's contents. Observing the stranger's emotional plea and subsequent surrender of the parcel, she couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss, particularly as the man appeared on the brink of tears. While other passengers remained indifferent, Ivelisse sensed a deeper significance behind the ordeal. As her turn to pass through security arrived, Ivelisse had one final request for her boyfriend, Rico, before bidding him farewell. Aware of the risk of retrieving the discarded parcel from the trash without attracting attention, she whispered an unusual request as they embraced. Despite the oddity of the favor, Ivelisse was driven by a genuine desire to assist. While security occupied themselves with Ivelisse's screening, Rico discreetly approached the garbage bin, retrieved the parcel, and discreetly departed for Tampa after bidding his girlfriend a final farewell. Throughout the journey, the unopened parcel remained a silent mystery, a weight on Ivelisse's mind. As the plane soared through the sky, Ivelisse couldn't shake the unease that gnawed at her. The image of the distressed stranger and his discarded parcel lingered, evoking a mix of frustration and empathy towards the perceived callousness of TSA. Yet above all, her curiosity burned to unravel the mystery concealed within the forbidden package. Upon landing, Ivelisse wasted no time in reaching out to Rico, eager to uncover the parcel's contents. With anticipation coursing through her veins, she awaited his revelation, unaware of the unexpected turn their journey was about to take. As Rico unwrapped the forbidden package, he braced himself for whatever lay inside, perhaps worthless trinkets or items deemed too hazardous for flight. However, what greeted him were two snow globes, each bearing sentimental images, one depicting a young lady with her dog, and the other showcasing an elderly couple. This unexpected discovery shed light on the cause of the commotion at the airport. Examining the base of one snow globe, Rico deciphered an inscription, We love you, Katie, Nana, and Papa. January 25, 2016 With the mystery now in their hands, Ivelace and Rico wasted no time in formulating a plan to assist the rightful owner of the cherished keepsakes. However, their efforts were hindered by the scant information available. A pair of snow globes crafted by grandparents for someone named Katie, intercepted at St. Pete Clearwater Airport. Driven by determination, Ivelace turned to the community for aid of the snow globes in hopes of locating their intended recipient. With each share, the likelihood of reaching the right person increased, offering a glimmer of hope amidst the uncertainty. Then a breakthrough. An unexpected contact from an employee at Things Remembered, a souvenir shop. While they couldn't identify the individuals in the photos, they provided crucial details about the snow globe's origin. Thanks to their assistance, Eilis finally obtained a name. Linda Madry, the grandmother who had commissioned the custom keepsakes for her granddaughter. However, the mystery deepened as the man at the airport was clearly not Linda. With more questions than answers, Ivelace and Rico embarked on the next phase of their quest, unraveling the identity of the stranger who carried the precious snow globes through the airport. After a remarkable journey fueled by determination and the kindness of strangers, Ivelisse finally uncovered the identity of the distressed man at the airport. He was none other than Katie's father, Michael, 
entrusted with delivering the precious snow globes to his daughter. With assistance from a helpful clerk, the headquarters of a souvenir shop, in the vast community, the owner of the snow globes was at last identified. But the tale of Ivelisse's compassion didn't conclude there. Armed with the knowledge of the snow globe's rightful owner, Ivelisse and Rico set out to discover Katie's whereabouts. To their astonishment, Linda's residence was just a stone's throw away. Eager to capture the momentous occasion, they documented Ivelisse and Linda's first meeting on camera. As Linda gently knocked on Ivelisse's door, a radiant smile illuminated Ivelisse's face upon seeing her unexpected visitor. Every heartfelt moment, from the initial smile to the warm embrace shared between the two women, was captured by the cameraman. During their conversation, Ivelisse uncovered the significance of the snow globes. These cherished mementos were intended as a birthday gift for Katie, Linda's granddaughter. Grateful beyond words for their safe return, Linda expressed her heartfelt appreciation to Ivelisse. Yet she wasn't the only one eager to extend gratitude. The inscription on the snow globe bore a meaningful date, January 25th, 16, not Katie's birthday, but rather the day Michael and his wife adopted her, marking the moment their family became complete. Linda and her husband had crafted the snow globes as a testament to their love for their adopted granddaughter. A reminder that familial bonds transcend blood ties, emphasizing the paramount importance of love above all else.